found. Our purpose is interpreting box plots. And there's also going to be a few things that I want you to do. So uh, I'm going to go over um, the handout and then tell you what and how to uh, get through it. Okay. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this. So yesterday, you took a moment, right? And in class, you copied all these words. Uh, you remember, you copied mean, you copied median, right? You copied box plots, right? And then you copied all these words. So all that, eventually, is going to make its way here. All right, so let me make it a little bit smaller. So, so you're going to write all that around here. And I'm going to show you a better picture. And it's going to look something. So the end result looks something like this. Okay. So you get to, here is the, the unit. And around it, you're going to fill it up with the concepts, the ideas that you've learned in this particular unit. So over here, going back to this, let me take this away. I'll give you a couple of examples on how to start. So this is an example of what it should look like. So for example, say, I don't know, median. So you would write median. And you give me an example. Median is the number in the middle. The number in the middle, so you write the definition, in the middle of a data set ordered from least to greatest, least to greatest, right? And then you would give me an example, uh, for example, 5, 9, 11, 12, 13, the median, the number in the middle, that should be 11. And then you can do mean, you can do range, you can do box plots, so when you do box plots, you can give me an example, right? You can do a number line. You can make a an example. Like that, right? Box plot or dot plots. Again, you can make another example of dot plots. Right? You can give me what is a statistical question. Right, you can give me the definition, range, what's the range? So if you have 2, 4, 20, 80, what's the range? The range is the highest minus the lowest. Right, so you're going to fill everything around this, and again, right, with all the material that you learn, and it should look something like this. Right? I mean, this one is different because it's about angles, but the idea is the same. That's what I want you to do here. And you're going to do it in English. Uh, the second part of what I work, this another thing that we're going to do today, is this. So I want you to pay attention to the question. This says getting James to work. So James wants James wants to get to work as quickly and reliably as possible in the morning. He tries different ways. So he's going to take the bicycle to work. And if you look here, uh, these are the times. So on Monday, it took him 28 minutes. On Tuesday, 24 minutes. On Wednesday, 25. On Thursday, 29. Friday 25 and so on and so on. By car, 19 minutes, 21 minutes, 32, 57, etc. Then he took the last one, which is walking, taking the train and walking. That's 21, 24, 31, 26, 24, and 30 minutes. So you have three different ways of going to work. These are some of the times. So the first question is saying, I want you to look here, look over here, and tell me. Make a case why he should travel to work by bicycle. Why is this? Why is bicycle the best way to go to work? Tell me why. And then what I like you to do is over here, right? You're going to explain right, in English, and because you can write it in Chinese, put it on Google Translator, and then that you will put it in English. So I want you to use your iPad today. Okay? So what, one thing you could do is over here, right, you can divide this in half and then you can make a table. So bicycle, car, walk, 
frame block. And you can create a table, for example. Right? And you can write, this is the mean. This is the median. Right? And you can look at it. Right? And you can find the mean, find the median, put the number. So let's say the mean is 22. I'm making this up. This is 24. This is 26. This is 28. This is 21. This is 22. Right? And then over here, you're going to write, well, the bicycle, who's the best? Well, let me write 24 over here. The bicycle, I calculated, right? I calculated the mean, and bicycle has the lowest mean, um, and therefore, a bicycle will be the best way. So I need you to show me the work and explain why, and use your work to justify why he should take the bicycle to work. So you got to tell me that why is the bicycle the best way to work. So that's one. And then two, question two is the same thing, right? And the question two is just asking you, tell me why, in this case, is by car. He should take, he should go to work by car, and you got to tell me why. So, again, you can look at your data, right? You can look at the data, and then you can say, hey, by car is the best because, and, and I'm going to change this because the medium is this or that. Um, so, you have to look at all the, the information that you, this information, right? You got to look at this information and look at this information over here and use that to justify why he should go by car. So that's one thing, another thing you're going to do today. Okay, so you're going to do that. Um, let's do that. Load this. You're going to do this eventually. I give you the handout. And the other thing I want you to do is this. And you're definitely going to need your iPad for translations. So <laughs> This one, you're going to create a box plot, right? You're going to, this one is easy. Okay, so you're going to find the, the min, max, q1, median, q3, and you create a box plot, but you're going to create a double box plot. So here's the medium, no, sorry, here's the number line. So you create double boxes, which is going to be like this, something like this. One box plot and another one on top using the same number line. Okay, so that's a double box plot. So using the information on the top here, right, this information, I want you to make. And then you're going to answer the questions. And I, again, you definitely need your iPad, your translator to answer. So this whole, all the other questions, right, you have to read them and answer. All right, so not so it's uh, hopefully the translator works a little bit better. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. So these are the three things, and then hopefully um, you made your corrections, your test corrections yesterday. Um, so let me just write here test corrections, right? Your, sorry, not test, your quiz corrections. So the number, so let's say you got number four wrong. I need, to do, ex, I need you to explain why you got it wrong. wrong. And then tell me, tell me, Show me, show, explain how you got the correct answer, how you got the correct answer. Okay, so those are the things that, well, this one, quiz corrections, you were supposed to do it yesterday. So hopefully take a look at it, uh, see if you have each question that you got wrong, tell me why you got it wrong, and give me an explanation of how you got the correct answer. Okay, so that's your task for today.